This video is all about understanding facts. We'll get right into it. What we're going to cover in this video is the fact that facts have a value. The value can have additional traits if it is a numeric fact value. The fact has characteristics. A fact may have parenthetical explanations. So first, let's get into exactly what a fact is. A fact is a piece of information. Financial reports communicate facts. Facts reported by a financial report can be numeric, text, or prose. For example, above you see two facts. You see the fact 2000, you see the fact 1000. Although we saw numeric facts in the example on the previous slide, I want to point out that there uh, are three different types of values. So again, a value is a piece of information that is being reported. The screenshot of a financial statement note above, which discloses information about commitments and contingencies, shows the three types of facts, numeric, textual, and prose. So numeric and textual are rather straightforward. Numbers, text. Prose, I want to go a little bit deeper into. Uh, basically, prose can be thought of information that has sophisticated formatting within it. So for example, paragraphs, tables of information, lists of information, etc. So generally, prose is intended to be read in a specific order. So the sequencing or ordering of prose is important. If a fact value is numeric, there are two other traits that that numeric fact value must have. If the fact is numeric, you clearly want to know the units. And uh, rounding, knowing how the information is rounded, is helpful. So additional numer uh, numeric information contains those two characteristics, those, tra those two traits. So numeric information contains those two traits. So now, this is important for people reading the a financial report, but it's even more important for computers trying to process a financial report. Okay, facts also have characteristics. So on the earlier slide, we saw two numbers, 2,000 and 1,000, but we didn't really know what those numbers were for. So here you can see that we've added the characteristic concept and that first fact uh, that had a value of 2,000 uh, describes the concept revenues. And the second fact, which has a value of 1,000, describes the concept of net income. Financial facts typically have a number of characteristics. So here we, you can see we've expanded the characteristics to include uh, not only the concept, but also the period, the legal entity, and the reporting entity. So now you're getting a, a clearer understanding of what the values represent. So a fact is the value, including the traits of that value, and all the characteristics which describe that value. So above, we know that the value 2000 is for concept revenues for the period January 1st, 2011 through December 31st, 2011. It relates to the legal entity, consolidated entity, and the reporting entity, ABC Company. We also know that the numeric value is expressed in the units of US dollars, which are rounded to the nearest thousands of dollars. So the red box shows you one fact. And here, in this example, it has a total of two facts. So hopefully this gives you an idea of what a fact actually is. Facts may also contain parenthetical explanations. So basically, information contained in the line item itself on the financial statement, as you can see in this screenshot, or the footnote at the bottom of the page of the financial statement are examples of parenthetical explanations. So that's it. This describes a fact. A fact has a value, characteristics, it may have additional traits for numeric fact values, and it may contain parenthetical explanations.